Hi everyone, so I am here with my next makeup date. Um, I am a little under the weather um, and my voice always goes with it very quickly. I feel like I have like chronic laryngitis or something. But if you hear that in my voice, that's what's going on um, and I'm just gonna try to get through the video. So I'll do my best to make it short and sweet, but I have a lot to update on. So um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, so this makeup date is um, not great. Um, I have been purchasing a lot um, and I know I said in the last one I was like oh, okay I hope I will be kind of out of that rut and we'll just only have empties and I have empties that's good but I am just like it's a slippery slope once I started purchasing it went and then I'm doing my best to put a stop to myself because my makeup bank has basically run out and I am not quite a zero but once a recurring fund kicks in it's gonna be uh, probably negative so that's gonna really you know, that's a big full stop in terms of buying. Um, so yes, my beauty bank is working for me, uh, but unfortunately I could not resist the temptation of some certain things that came up recently. And um, it's also made me think a little bit. So I will talk about so some of those thoughts at the end, but first let's do empties. That's exciting, that's good. Uh, and then we'll talk about my um, slip ups, if you wanna call it that. All right, first empty is my Mac Fix Plus. Um, this is, um, Actually, it's not even my Max Fix Plus. I already finished that. I finished um, the Elf setting spray in here. Um, it was like a four ounce one. And then when I decanted in here, I think it just about fit. So, um, and then the spray nozzle doesn't look like your original Fix Plus because I put on the Max Stay Stay Over. This is the mini bottle, but I used to have a big bottle. Um, and it has a much finer mister. And actually, I just heard um, from Kit Snitch. I think that's her channel name, um, that Mac is actually replacing their, um, the original, uh, sprayer with this one. So I am ahead of the game. Yay me. Um, and yes, this sprayer is much, much finer and, um, it was, yeah, it's, it's a much more pleasant experience. So honestly, this sprayer is the, or mister, I don't know what's like the right word for it, um, is probably the best one I've used out of all the ones. I don't have a ton of experience with setting sprays, um, but this one is the best. And so I'm kind of glad I have a big one and a small one now, as you just saw. So, um, yes, I will probably, I have a new setting spray that I bought, so I am going to test that sprayer. I don't think it's as good as the one, as this one, but I might end up swapping things in and out. We'll see what happens, um, down the road, but that's, Part of me frankening. Um, I did finish up the, this is not what was originally here. The bottle is a CeraVe cream, but I did fill it up with like a mix of stuff. It's so grimy and gross. Um, and the last of it, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to probably put more stuff in here. I like this container. I know it's super simple, but it's really easy for me to be using after my shower. So, um, so I'll probably put more stuff in here, but yes, I used up a tub of some lotion in here. Um, so I'll probably put that aside and use that up. I'm going to retire this like facial sponge. That was from Real Techniques. I picked it up at the dollar store. It has like this exfoliating side. It kind of reminds me of like the, um, the cognac sponge, if you guys know what that is, excuse me. Um, and then the, there's like a super, super soft side, which I didn't end up using very often, but I was like, it's been sitting in my shower, I think for about a month now. Still smells okay, but um, I'm not gonna risk it. Not worth it for me. All right, I finished up a sunscreen. I think I finished up a few actually, but I'll just mention this one. Um, I think I finished up like maybe three of these minis from the Sephora Sun Safety Kit so far. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench one, SPF 45. I probably like this the best out of all the small ones that I've used so far, but it just ran out so fast. Um, it looks huge, but it's one of those airless pumps, um, only five milliliters. And, um, yeah, just, uh, I mean, it was really nice, I think, for what it is. I might see how much the full size is worth, but I don't know if I'll repurchase it. Um, although I do get to reimburse it through FSA. So that's something I always keep in the back of my head now. Um, I used up a lip gloss. I will update this in my partners and cream, but man, this packaging is done. Um, I will gripe about it at, during my partners and cream update. So, you know, stay tuned. Um, this is my Bosha um cleansing oil man there's hair in here because it was sitting in my shower but uh, i did use up this was 1.7 ounces i think and so i used this up it was decent i don't think it's the best one i used recently um i'm still like getting into cleansing oils and so um, i don't think this is the best one the actual bottle is super nice um the design is super duper cute because it's japanese of course please focus um 
It says made in the USA, but I think originally it's probably Japanese. Um, but anyways, so I will keep thinking about reusing, putting something else in here, but I don't know right now. Maybe something for when I travel, but I'm not even sure about that because I've been going more towards powder cleansers and like bar soaps and stuff, which are a lot easier to travel with. And I have, I travel with kids now, so it's like all their liquids are my liquids. Um, okay. Those are my empties for now, which is like decent for the last week. One, two, three, four, five. I have like maybe one or two other ones that I didn't show you. Um, like my, I don't have in front of me, like my cream contour. Like I'm just going to be naturally filling and filling and filling it up. And I'll log it in my beauty bank. But I think in terms of excitement, not so much. So, um, or like my loose setting powder is very close to being done. Like you can barely see any in there. Refill that. Like it's just, those are kind of rolling and I'm like using, I think once the source products, if you know what I mean, like, like I have a huge loose setting tub that I use to fill this. Like I think once that one's done, that'll be really exciting to show you guys. But in terms of the packaging that I'm just refilling, like that's not as exciting. So, all right, moving on. I think I'm just stalling because I don't want to show you guys what I bought, but I, I need to be honest with you guys and to myself, right? All right. So. Sephora uh, did it for me. I think I realized I need to take a break from Sephora very soon. Um, my birthday is in August. So I think after I get my birthday gift, probably at the beginning of August, I'm just going to do my best just right off Sephora for a good amount of time um, because I feel like they're just sucking me in and taking my money and it's not worth it. So a few things to start. Um, it's not The one thing I thought was in here isn't in here. Is it like, did it get lost somewhere? Let me triple check, cause that is sad. Um, all right, we'll keep moving for the sake of it, but I'll maybe I'll just mention it and then the next makeup date, I'll like show it to you guys. At least I'll try to remember. Um, oh, I found it. It's hiding in a corner that I didn't expect it to be. Okay, so I told you guys I finished up my setting spray. So this is the one I got because we're going to summer and I was like, why don't I pick up an SPF one? And see how it goes um i actually tried one before from super group and i didn't like it it just felt greasy and i think that's just the nature of the sunscreen ingredients like they will just feel greasy so i mean i guess like sunscreen on our arms also feel greasy too so why did i expect anything less out of a um face mist but i will try to use this up if it's not on my I feel like if it's not like to set my makeup through first thing of the day, I might use it throughout the day, especially before I step outside into the sun and stuff like that. Um, or like, you know, just on my body if I don't like it. But, um, but yeah, beautiful bottle, actually pretty large, it's 3.4 ounces. So actually the same size as the other one that I used up. Um, yeah, these are the same size. So honestly, if I don't like the sprayer, this sprayer will probably fit nicely as long as the, the cap itself is is um the same like size so um oops yeah so this one i can justify but when i was looking to this of course sephora was like we have this cool promo like get you know buy 45 dollars worth of stuff and you get a concealer kit and i was like i want to try the concealer kit <laughs> oh man so um concealer kit is uh decent um just if i don't know is this like a thing that people review but whatever I'll just mention it to you this is a super teeny tiny beauty blender um I'm not in love with my sponge right now that I've been using which is like kind of a multi-pack sponge from Amazon um so maybe that's part of it and just because I'm restless I was like ooh, mini beauty blender let me try it um honestly don't know what it'll be good for maybe my concealer because I'm starting to use more under eye concealer but besides that it's super tiny and I guess the concealer kit so that makes sense um and then in terms of like the more generous size the most generous size thing is this YSL, which I've never had anything YSL. Um, is this, let me see, where is it made in? Made in France. All the Luxe stuff is made in France. Um, it's their gold primer. I don't know if you can see the gold. Oh, you kind of can. Yeah, gold flex. So I don't know if that's like real gold or not. I'm sure someone who, I'm um, looking at the ingredients right now. Um, oh, there's fragrance. That's fun. Um. Anyways, yeah, I, let me just sniff it. How does it, it's got a twist, right? There you go. Okay, it's not offensive, um, but yeah, it's like a little spatula applicator, which is 
interesting. Um, and there's a good amount of product in here. There's 10 milliliters, so a third of an ounce. Um, so yeah, I will pull this in when I'm ready to. And then it's basically just like a whole book of concealers, which is kind of funny the way they made it, but I guess that works. Um, a few of them are actually quite generous, like almost like foundation size, like these ones. And then the other ones are just like the blister packs where you peel them back, um, which those aren't as fun, but whatever. Um, yeah, like this one, the Gucci one is quite generous. Like these are foundation sized, you know, things. Multi-use longer concealer, yeah. So, um... I am going to try these out. I don't know when I'm going to pull them into a project. Um, as you guys know, I had a, I made kind of like a liquid bronzer or contour that was super duper dark that was made up of a ton of Dior samples like this. So that might be what it ends up being thrown into, to be honest. Um, it's so dark to the point where I'm actually like mixed it and pre-mixing it with foundation and other lighter things. So I might like pull in something like this to mix in. I think something like that would be too light for me, but probably mixing in with that makes sense. And then I'll somehow, by the time I get to the bottom of this, like something will, something will happen. I'm not sure, but we will work through it. Oh, this one from, which brand is this one? Is this Makeup Forever? The Makeup Forever sample doesn't go very dark. See that? That's the darkest one. Looks quite orange though. So anyways, um... I don't know why. I mean, maybe because I just recently got into a concealer kick to kind of find something for my under eyes, which actually I've been really enjoying this MAC concealer palette that I recently got. Um, maybe that's why. I don't know. My channel name is The Impulsive Panner. It's not just impulsively panning. It's also impulsively spending. So that's coming into play right now. Along with the order, I got um, the Sephora Clarifying Peel Pads. I don't have any peel pads right now. Um, so I will try that um and where are these made in it doesn't say it might be under the label but um well these are also made in france man so much stuff is being made in france i was just saying in a previous photo uh, video that i didn't know what i have that's made in france and then all of a sudden these products all pop up ta-da um all right and then with another order okay so now sephora has the beauty challenges where you can earn up to 500 dollars after you give them money. Um, and I, I gave in. So the first thing that I bought was a, um, hairspray, texture spray. Um, and yeah, I honestly, my hair is a little bit flat. And so I was thinking like maybe before vid I do like filming a video, like I'll spray this on and hopefully get a little bit more volume in there. But either way, I'll try this out. I mean, I got the small size and, um, yeah. So that's that. Um, and then I got a few samples here. I think only three out of the, f I think this one I'll probably go ahead and pass on to somebody else. This is a Topicals Ingrown Tonic. I'm, uh, uh, okay. Reduces the discomfort of ingrown hairs. I don't feel particularly the need for that. So that will probably go with some, to someone. I was kind of eyeing these. I was like, ooh, they have good samples this time. Um, these are eye creams. Um, two from Sunday Riley, one from Shiseido because I've had multiple orders from Sephora. So I was able to get multiples. Um, and yeah, these just last such a long time. I think anybody who knows eye creams, eye serums, they just last forever. So um, I was like, ooh, maybe I'll, I feel like this is going to be my way of using eye creams in the future. Because if I get a big one, like, man, that's just going to take forever. So those are my ends. I have another order from Sephora coming. And um, I think I also got some eye patches, which I don't have with me. They must be roaming around the house somewhere. Um, and then I also got an order from Glambot that's coming as well. So my next makeup date will feature those. And um, yeah, I think my thoughts about it are, what, well, one, I need to stop. I am going to be in the negative in about two days because that recurring makeup fund, that recurring self-care fund is going to suck the life out of my beauty bank um so that needs to stop right now but also like i'm spending on like graduation gifts and birthday gifts and father's day gifts like i don't have the money to be spending on myself like this and like all these products technically aren't excess if any if if you've been watching me for a while like my whole theme for my collection beauty collection is like no no excess in the sense of like if I bring something into my collection, I need to be able to see myself using it up in the next two years. Um, and to not be overwhelmed by like multiples in one category because that's excess and um, it's just not conducive to the way like I want to be 
how I want to have my makeup collection. So I feel like looking at the stuff I just bought, it doesn't seem like excess because I feel like I'll be able to use it up in two years. But I'm pretty disappointed in myself because some of these things I don't need, which yes, I can return if I, um, you might not see these products in the future if I return them. But, um, but also like the reason I purchased them wasn't, like I wasn't in the right mindset, right? Um, in terms of being thoughtful and mindful and it was, it was impulsive. And so I need to be working on that. Um, so yeah, I have a few more things coming in. Um, but I think when I was looking back at my beauty bank and my log and stuff like that, I was like, oh, the last time where it kind of felt something similar where I was just like, woo, like slippery slope, like running, going down a slide, right? It was probably back in January, um, around like New Year's time. So I feel like that's saying something. Um, I think it's, I don't know. I need, I need to kind of continue to observe myself, but if this is the trend of like every six months, I kind of go down the slippery slope. I think I need to prepare myself for the next one, which is going to be, you know, in end of November, December, which lines up, right? Especially with Black Friday and all the sales that go on around then, then Christmas and all that stuff. So I think I need to have a game plan um, and kind of go from there. So yeah, that's kind of where my thoughts are at. Um, I am... Yeah, I think I need to figure out if there's anything here that like is truly excess. And if I have the chance to return it, I'll do that. If not, um, then I'll, I will have to claim it and use it. Um, so that is kind of my thoughts for this week. A little embarrassed, um, but I, I'm hoping that I can do better. Like that's, that's the process of this channel and me learning. I'm not going to do it right all the time. And I've goofed up a lot in the past month. So, whew, all right gonna move with it and going to hopefully make some good progress on some stuff so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye